Behind me, we see Native Son Circus by the artist Terry Adkins. An artist and musician, Adkins collided the disciplines of sound, sound art, and visual art. After his death in 2014 at the age of 60, the New York Times called him a composer of art and a sculptor of music. And I think that's a great assessment for the technical ability of this artist. Native Sun Circus is a wonderful example of Adkins' work. He based the form of this art installation on a faceted tortoise shell that he owned. The work's materiality and its activation were inspired by a legendary story about jazz great Charlie Parker. A young Parker was finishing his set. He was playing sax with veteran drummer Joe Jones. Apparently, Parker performed so poorly that Jones threw one of his cymbals at him. Native Sun Circus is loud. It's surprising, it grabs your attention, and it sets up shop in your memory. And that is purposeful, it's all purposeful. Adkins combined his sculpture and performance to address African-American issues in culture. The title of this artwork is borrowed from the 1940 novel Native Son by Richard Wright, itself a critique of systematic racism in America. It was one of the earliest successful attempts to explain the racial divide in America in terms of the social conditions imposed on African Americans by the dominant white society. Adkins was critical both in his art as well as vocally critical of how our history has been whitewashed and the presence of black people erased. Having grown up in segregated Washington, D.C., he sought to recognize the importance of black Americans and illuminate their stories. His critique is frustratingly still as apt and necessary today as it was during his lifetime. As we're in the midst of an era when memorials to the leaders of the Confederacy are finally being called to question, Adkins' art is right here, loudly speaking out for an appropriate, honest, and inclusive rewrite. It takes that genius, a genius that Terry Adkins possessed, to use his natural creative skills honed through deep artistic study and practice, and to use them to create something engaging, profound, and memorable. <laughs>